Cartel is a mobile sensor network data collection system. The idea is we put a little bit of hardware in cars. This hardware consists of a Linux box and some sensors, and then we use this data that we've collected from the cars to uh, answer sort of interesting questions about the world. So we synthesize data from a bunch of cars together um, in order to do things like um, give a, users a picture of what traffic in the city currently looks like. We have a, a range of sensors that are deployed in the cars. All of the cars include a, a GPS, a global positioning system, as well as a Wi-Fi radio that they can use for getting data off of the cars. Other sensors that we put on some of the cars include accelerometers, which can do things like uh, measure the quality of the ride or the surface of the road as the car drives over it, so that, for example, you can detect vibrations or bumps as the car hits them. We, in the Cartel project, we have several different ways of transmitting data off the cars, and one of the things we've, one of the technologies we've been working on is developing different uh, sort of means of data transmission. In the most basic version of data transmission is just to use a cell phone. So this is somebody has a uh, cellular data plan, they connect the cell phone up to the car, they connect a wireless uh, data, a, a wireless data card up to the Linux boxes in the car and then use that to transmit information off. And one of the things that we've spent a lot of time developing in the project is technology to use Wi-Fi Part of the technology we've developed is to allow cars as they drive by these wireless access points to very quickly associate with the access points and transmit little bits of information every time they see one of these access points that's open and available for access. As the cars are driving along, they're transmitting this data off, and they, what, what happens is that they transmit it to a, a server or a portal that's um, running on a machine at MIT, and that portal is in charge of taking all this data and synthesizing it together in order to present a sort of global view of sort of what's going on in the world or what these sensors and cars are observing about the world. Typically, this data gets put into a, a sort of a visualization that gets overlaid on top of a map, um, and this uh, users can then browse this visualization in order to learn various things about what's going on inside the world. We have a, a range of different applications that we've developed. So the, the first application is, and the simplest one is just one that allows users to browse their own driving information. So you may be interested, for example, in comparing the amount of time that it takes for you to drive from home to work on various different routes. So you can compare your freeway drives to your uh, not freeway drives if you have several different routes from your house to work or from your work to your house. Other applications that do sort of more interesting things that combine lots of data from different cars together include um, one that we call the Pothole Patrol, which is an application where we um, use these accelerometers on the car that are measuring the quality of the ride to detect where potholes are in the city of Boston and then categorize them um, in terms of their severity. A third application that we spent a lot of time developing is a traffic portal. So the idea here is that we use the cars as they're driving along. We can learn things about how fast they were able to drive on every road. And then for each road segment, each little piece of road, like for example, Mass Ave in front of MIT, we can compute a distribution of the delays that your cars experience when they were driving on that. So the first goal is to um, explore the use of ca cars or mobile nodes as uh, sensing devices. So how can we use these mobile things in order to measure the world? And so it's about, one goal is about just developing the technology that's needed to get data off of these cars that are moving around in the world and to bring it back to a server and to synthesize it and store it together. And some of the challenges there include things like dealing with variable connectivity that the cell phones, you know, will cut in and out as you drive around or there aren't there isn't continuous wireless connectivity available everywhere. So one goal is sort of a technology goal. The other goal is an application goal, which is to develop some of these, use these um, cars in order to develop applications that are sort of new and different and enable things that will help um, people besides computer scientists. This traffic portal that I mentioned is an example of something that everybody could take advantage of. Um, people, anybody would be interested in knowing what the best route to take from A to B is. Uh, obviously, things like MapQuest and Google Maps have huge uptake, and adding traffic to those would um, just increase their value. So one of the things that we're doing in order to bring the cost of this box down is we're looking at solutions that um, include smaller amounts of hardware inside of the car because we think that hardware cost is a barrier to entry. So that we think will allow us to produce a piece of hardware that goes inside of the cars that maybe only costs 30 or $40 per car, um, which would be something that uh, and we think an average person might be willing just to put in their car in order to benefit from this technology.